today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. I'm back. I'm back at Adam's Antiques and today I'm going to finish it. Today I'm finally going to finish it. We've got an hour and a half and we're gonna get through the rest of the mall. So let's head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I decided to start here in the back of this antique mall because we only made it through about half of it the last time. But the first thing I spotted was this amazing bowl hiding in this cabinet here. And of course I had to reach in and pull it out. Um, it was accompanied by this pitcher by Costa Boda and this one-legged parrot. Poor parrot. Uh, but I pulled out the bowl and I expected it to be signed because it was just an amazing piece of glass and a lot of the times they are signed. However, this piece, I could not find a signature on it, which was very surprising. I thought for sure someone would put their name to this because it looks like a galaxy. It was just phenomenal. Um, there was a little pamphlet with it, Two Glass Objects by Bertil Valian, and I'm not sure if that's who made this bowl or not. Um, a lot of the other examples I found were signed. Uh, so it's just a real curious piece, but it was absolutely gorgeous and I had to I had to buy it in this corner cabinet I noticed this bottle here for $25 I'm not sure if this is a vanity bottle or if it's a perfume bottle but it was only $25 and it was a beautiful piece of Murano glass you can see it is marked there on the bottom with a sticker made in Italy and the craftsmanship was just really nice on it, it was very thin almost like paper um, and so I decided to grab that now here on this end shelf, there was a percentage off and I can't remember what exactly the percentage was, but I noticed this for $15. I loved the gold flakes. I thought, you know what? That's really nice. That cranberry glass with those gold flakes and it was nicely made. It was hand blown. I set it back, but then I was like, you know what? $15, there's a percent off. I wish I remembered what the percent off was, but that was my ultimate buying decision. You could see the bottom is polished, clear. It's very nice, and I decided to grab it. This was another piece that was there on the end cap. They had it for $12. Um, this one also had some of the gold aventurine in it. I wasn't sure if this piece would have had a lid because it flares out, but in any case, for $12, I also decided to grab this because of that gold aventurine. Um, now back down to the pair. This pair right here was fifteen dollars. Um, I didn't realize at the time, but I th I believe this is Alfredo Barbini, and uh, it is Murano. We have it listed. I don't think we listed it as Murano, um, but I'm I'm pretty certain it's Alfredo Barbini. I really liked this paperweight. I thought it looked kind of like an eyeball. There were no signatures on the bottom. I actually consulted some of my friends who are really good with glass, and I was told that this piece particularly, um, a lot of the times, will be uh, marked with fake signatures on the bottom because it was not originally signed. But it is made in Murano, and um, it's, it's a beautiful piece. It looks like an eyeball, though, if you ask me. <laughs> So I ventured into this booth, which was very crowded, and I love the crowded booths. Um, you can see there is an art glass bird here. I'm checking out his feet. He's $30. He's got really big feet. That is like a huge, big-footed bird. Um, $30, he's kind of looking up at me, and I'm like, you know, yeah, okay. There was a percentage off of this booth as well, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what it was. I need to keep better track of these things when I'm filming for you guys, but um, inevitably I decided to buy the bird. Now these little bowls had this frit texture on the outside, and I have come across those in the past. But an ashtray piggy. This fish, however, the fish I did not leave behind because I was like, you know what, that looks like an interesting fish. Um, the fish was $30. The bottom looked like it had some age to it. It was heavy. It seemed like a good quality. I loved the matte glaze on it. I'm not sure who makes this, but there was just something about it that I thought, you know what, I, I feel like this is something good. So if you know who makes it, let me know in the comments um, because I haven't been able to identify it yet. 
this I liked and I liked this. Um, this was just a really big fat gold fish. I mean, I don't really know how else to describe it, but on the bottom, I peeled back the sticker a little bit to see what, what was underneath because I saw the remnants of another sticker that had, had kind of a scalloped edge. And to me, that appeared to be a Murano sticker that I have seen in the past with that scalloped edge and it had the quality. The quality was good. So I purchased the fish. And the little box. We've bought and sold this Portugal pottery in the past, and so I recognized it. And for only twelve dollars, uh, we've done pretty well with the Portuguese pottery in the past. And this was a trinket box, which we do well with trinket boxes. So it was just the perfect storm. Now this set was so cool because it was like birds. And I like birds. Um, but not only that, I believe it's a sugar, a creamer, a salt, and a pepper. Um, or possibly one of them could be a syrup. I believe um, that's a possibility as well. But they were made in Germany. And they were really neat. They were $50, but there was a percent off of this booth as well. I believe this one was 25% off. And um, they were just really fun. They were neat. They were. I mean, if I was to put those on the table, the kids would have loved them but I don't need more things I need to get rid of things and this we've got another pair it's just the day of pairs I feel like we're buying lots of pairs um it, it actually has a Murano sticker there on the bottom and look at the Submerso in that it's green it's red it's clear it's all of the everything together it's it was just a really interesting looking pair and here I spotted these oyster dishes. I believe they're like oyster shooters or something like that. I have purchased these before. I've actually bought Limoges versions of these and they sold for a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, the Limoges versions. These I suspect are Japanese. Um, but for $16, I was like, yes, I will take those. Um, you can see the shell painted on the outside of those. Um, but yes, absolutely. I buy those every time I find them. And this, this is an Alessandro Moretti vase. Alessandro Moretti actually was trained by the artisans of Murano and then he moved to West Virginia, United States. Um, and he did some work under pilgrim glass, but I just thought that that vase was amazing. It was amazing. It was it's like the eye of Sauron. Isn't that what it is? It's called the eye of, of Sauron. Isn't I'm, I'm trying to reference movies and I don't even hardly watch TV. Um, we've got a pair here for $10. Uh, why not another pair? <laughs> there was a discount on this booth. I should mention there is a discount here as well. This, I bought this. <laughs> this was absolutely beautiful. It was $48. Again, discount, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, it was blue opaline. We've got this West German vase. I have one similar, um, in my house, in my sunroom. There were some really nice pieces in this, in this case, including these German bullseye bud vases. These were super cool. I loved the contrast of the green and the red. I ended up buying both of those. This also is, um, Avem. Murano. I've seen it in red and I never seen it in that emerald green. It was 30% off. And I thought, you know what? That tutti frutti Avam. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the lime peel, the lime peel. I bought another piece of lime peel. So exciting. And that was it. All right. Well, our total spend there today was $610. I feel like once we got into the cases, we started spending some more money and there was actually a set of the glasses in there that were $1,600. I don't know if I showed them on video. Um, but they were 60% off and I texted Andrew. He's like, we already have two of those. Sell the two we have. And I didn't even know we had two of them. I guess he got them on Sunday. So once I sell those two, I'm gonna get the rest of them. And I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> oh gosh, you know, those, those sales, they get, they get their psychological. They get in your head and they're like, you could have percentage off. You can have percentage off. But I feel pretty safe with everything I got. I, I'm confident I can double my money on it. Um, but occasionally you win some, you lose some. That one bowl that I picked up, that's the one piece that it was kind of my wild card today. Not really sure 
about that piece. I checked it all over. There were no signatures, which was really surprising to me because it was such good quality. You could just feel it. So it was very strange to me that there were no signatures on it. So um, I was kind of an odd piece, but I felt, I felt a little unsure about it. So I cost averaged it out. We'll be all right. And um, I guess on that note, I'll stop rambling. I will see all of you tomorrow later. Welcome to the official eBay store of the Crazy Lamp Lady, where we specialize in selling vintage and antique collectibles. We list 20 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and we start them at just $4. follow us here on eBay and thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.